girls welcome back to another whatever Wednesday and today we are doing a cookbook slash blog recipe review <laughs> yeah yay basically I got the sweet potato soul cookbook but Devin doesn't have it and because we're still physical distancing because of life um, she instead of doing recipes from the sweet, pota sweet potato soul cookbook like I am she's gonna do some from her blog it's the best of both worlds. Yeah, so it's kind of like a cookbook review hybrid. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're just trying so many new things these days because there's no rules. <laughs> no rules in quarantine, except the rules to keep everyone safe. Please wear a mask, please socially distance. Exactly, we're following those rules and now we do whatever kind of reviews we want. <laughs> uh, but basically, we've been following Sweet Potato Soul for a long time and her recipes always look so good. Like, she leans very heavy on the, like, whole food side, which I appreciate. They, they look so good, so maybe I do plan to make um, the sweet potato in like, a couple weeks. I'll record it for Instagram stories. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we got a lot of cooking to do, so we should probably, should we just get started? Yeah, I'm gonna start with the smoothie. Breakfast. That's a good call. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the mac and cheese, because I am really hungry and I want mac and cheese. Okay. Wait, no, I'm not starting with the smoothie. I'm starting with the donuts because donuts take longer. I gotta get the dough ready. That's right. So that dough's gotta rise and do yeah. all that dough stuff. It's time to prep it up. Garlic first, one clove. I don't know why we this. Have to cut this recipe in half. Make more sense. I don't need 15 donuts, do I? Uh, who are you? Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cut this recipe in half, I think. Okay, okay. Garlic, done. The problem is that I just, I want the mac and cheese so badly that I'm like trying to rush because I just want to be able to eat it. I think it's time to move over to the stove. We need to move over to the stand mixer now. No, the stove, Captain. We're going to the stove. The stand mixer, Devin. The stove. The stand mixer. <laughs> Uh, we're fine. Here we go. Now we're cooking. Literally, we are cooking now. Ah, what was that? Oh, my, my spoon fell. Everything's fine. Why did that scare me so much? I'm gonna lower these together. It kind of looks like baby food. And I gotta add in the flour. With I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not there to eat them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I need you for. <laughs> Obviously. So, sauce is gonna cool, and then I will start the macaroni and make the tempeh bacon, and then I'll blend the sauce last. This I can do. Okay, this is gonna... Mac is cooking up, and then this is the sauce that I have to blend in this, but it has to cool a little bit more, it's still pretty warm, and I blend it on that. I'm doing great! My donut dough is rising, now it's time to make a sweet potato pie smoothie. Smoothie vibe to it, but like it's still really good. Pasta is cooked, tempeh is cooked, now I just gotta blend up the sauce and then I eat this. I would love and now I'm sad that I haven't had them before. <laughs> it's like, a, I think hush puppies are just like a corn mi cornmeal fritter. I love it. Oh god. Oh yeah. It's like a lot of sauce actually. Saucy. Now I just gotta top it with the stuff. 
I'm just gonna like crumble up the tempeh. Flakes to keep things exciting. Spice it up. There we go. You want to see? Heck yeah. Here's my bowl. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. It's kind of got like that, um, like brownish, beigeous tone, which is fine because that's what it's going to do. Oh, it's steaming so much, but I just want to try it. Just try it. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Good? I gotta say, with the tempeh and the chili flakes on top, that is such a good touch. Yeah. Can you tell that there's bean? Oh. It is. I don't know that I would call it, like, super cheesy in like the traditional non-vegan sense but i really like the flavor i'm gonna call this one a win i feel like i'm all over the place and i'm not very organized today at all to our dry. Okay, well, I, I did some cleanup and now I'm ready to move on to my teriyaki chickpeas. Back. What? Very excited for it. It looks really good. I have a lot of things I need to prep because it's a stir fry. Yeah. Yeah, always prep first in a stir fry. Yeah. So for the date teriyaki sauce, I gotta get some fresh ginger and some garlic minced, and then I gotta chop up these dates. Now, she says medjool dates, which I don't have nice medjool dates. I just have regular dates, because I'm just a regular date. <laughs> and then I gotta prep red onion, red pepper, carrots, and now she calls for one crown of broccoli, but I'm just using a frozen broccoli and cauliflower mix. That's fine. Because I, yeah, thank you, Catherine. Catherine, I feel like we're being really quiet today. Huh? Being really quiet today. Yeah. You're so focused. I'm sorry. I'm just like very focused because I'm like deep frying. You go ahead and do that. I will just look talk. at the seven. But look at this. Oh. I'm so happy. Oh man. I can't believe you're getting donuts after that too. <laughs> you want to see them? Yes. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. <laughs> they look so good. I'm gonna try one. Oh okay. no, did I? Let's see first. <gasps> I don't like, it might be slightly undercooked. I tried to make them smaller as I went because I think I was afraid they were gonna be undercooked. Yeah. But they still look delicious. So let's. This is. Really good? Is it spicy? Oh, um, not that spicy. I mean, because we removed the seeds, so it's just the flesh. It's like just the right amount of spice. Delicious. Okay, all prepped and ready to cook. Time to start the teriyaki sauce. So, First things first, warm oil and add the ginger and garlic. Now this is where things move really fast and I get really stressed. Woo! Woo! Garlic and ginger are in the pan. Soy sauce is going in. Ooh, that's fun. And this feels like a lot of dates, but they're going in. Here's the sauce. 
those are the dates and the garlic and now we just let it simmer for a bit. I think it's simmered for about five minutes so far. So I should probably add in cornstarch to thicken. And just slowly stir that in and hopefully it will thicken. And if not, I have filled. Looks pretty good. Smells really good. This is getting nice and thick, which that's just like you'd expect a teriyaki sauce to be. But I gotta blend it so that these big chunks get out of here. Devin! Hi! How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great! I'm just cutting out the donuts now. Perfect. I, my sauce is all done. It just needs to cool before it goes in the blender. Uh huh. And then I just make the stir fry. Wow. Devin, how do you feel about me making three recipes and one of them including donuts and we were almost similar timing? <laughs> I feel like we maybe weren't going to discuss the timing this time. I don't know because <laughs> it's like, what is, what is time? <laughs> what is time? No, but I'm really happy for you. I mean, I still have like a half hour rise, so. Yeah, but that's not work for you. So that doesn't make me feel better. Love you. I don't know what to Sweet potato. This tastes so good, this place. sauteing my stir fry veggies and dancing because I'm getting tired. I'm so excited to try mine. Me too. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah. Donut. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are so good. Do they taste like sweet potato a lot? I don't know. They just taste like donut? Yeah. Wait, even the glaze? They taste like a cinnamon donut. Does the glaze taste like sweet potato? More so than the actual donut does. But it's still not that much. But it's really good. This is so good. It's so fluffy. You did good today. Yours is really good? Look at those air bubbles. Oh Devin, I don't know if you can see, but like, look at those air bubbles. I want donuts. These are so good, Devin. Drive down and I'll leave some on my my porch for you. Okay. This, I was about to say, this is my favorite thing I've made, but I don't know, because everything was so good. Mm -hmm. It's this, it's between this or the hush puppies. I mean, fair. Which are basically like, the hush puppies are essentially a savory donut, so. <laughs> 
I know, you made like two kinds of donuts today. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Devin, what was your favorite thing? Um, I think the chickpea teriyaki is my favorite. Like I definitely will make it again. I'll throw it in some tofu next time maybe. I want mushrooms in it. The sauce is just so good. Kat, I really think you would like it. You've got to try it. What's, what's kind of like, what's the base of the sauce? Um, soy sauce, garlic, ginger, the medjool dates. Sesame the dates oil. is such a, like, it's an interesting sweetener. She uses dates for a lot of sweetening things, which I often don't, but. I liked it. Yeah? Yeah. And then, I just feel like so often when we test cookbooks or we test blogs, we tend to test some kind of cheesy like whether it's a mac and cheese or a cheese sauce. So it just yeah. felt like the right thing to do. And this one is a really good one. Not like super, super cheesy in the traditional way, but still really good. Yeah, no, I am so happy. Like everything in this, what I tried in this book so far is so good. I'm so excited to try more. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like this has like the potential to be like my new favorite cookbook. That's awesome. Cause it's, it's like, it's like, I think it's the perfect combination of what I would like my diet to be in that it's like very whole foods focused, like very veggie focused, but like it does, again, doesn't shy away from oil. It deep fries things. Like it's still very hearty and very delicious. Like it doesn't feel like you're sacrificing anything by eating whole foods, plant-based mm -hmm. type stuff. Okay. So I guess in the comments, if you have the cookbook, tell us what recipe is your favorite, or if you don't have the cookbook, have you tried any of her other recipes and which ones are your favorite? Let's share recipes for everyone to try. Yes, we'll leave her uh, social stuff linked below as well. Check out her YouTube channel because not only are like she make delicious meals, but her videos are also just kind of very soothing to watch because mm -hmm. she's a very like calming person. <laughs> she has calm energy to her. <laughs> That is d different from us, but you know what? Like basically, what? when I watch her videos, I'm like, that's who I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> um, we'll also leave some links below as to where you can get it, at least in Canada where you can get it. Um, we'll link the independent bookstore that we got this one from below, as well as some other links for other places that you can order it from. Um, not sure if we'll have US links, but you know, you can go searching. And um... That's gonna be it. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss, oh, excuse me, my chickpea burps. <laughs> be sure to subscribe so you don't miss vegan recipes every Sunday and whatever Wednesdays, every other Wednesday. And look at that delicious donut. Um, what else? Give it a thumbs up, comment, share it with somebody who should try these recipes or needs to know about sweet potato soul because amazing food that you need. And, uh, for your soul. Yeah, good for your soul. We hope you enjoyed this video. And you know what? We're just reviewing all kinds of blogs and recipes and cookbooks these days, so. so. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun just kind of making other people's recipes. So if you have other people you want us to review, let us know. Yeah, this has been very good practice for me. I'm cooking so much. <laughs>